God damn you all, Trump supporters! May you burn in hell, Trump supporters! So uh, we're outside the White House, and you know that he's just in there laughing about all this, but we're at the 2019 Women's March, so the idea is basically we're going to go and ask some of these people what their signs are about and everything. We've got a lot of clever signs because, as Gavin McKenna said before he was deplatformed, this is all fashion. People are here protesting for the Women's March, they're protesting climate change, they're protesting Kavanaugh, so it's all under one big bubble of victimization that the left is out here congregating, so it's really nothing more than fashion. Do you want to talk to us about the Women's March? Why do you take your hat off? I don't have freedom of speech. She wants me to take my hat off. What a bummer. I wanted to get one of the pink hats so I could blend in a little bit more, but I don't know if they'll sell me one. They seem to be a little mad. So we were at the pro-life march yesterday and there were probably about maybe a million, eh, 700,000 I think was the number that I heard as far as the estimate. So there's maybe 10,000 at its peak. Do you guys want to talk to us about the women's march? Yeah. Okay, so what is the purpose, I guess? Because I really don't know. The purpose is to um, empower females against this president and what he has said to people. What has he said that is not empowering females? Or that is, I guess, that warrants the need for, you know, 10,000 people to show up and wear hats? I would, I would say that, I, I, I think it's his lack of thinking that, uh, like, m makes us all want to come here and be together. Because he's stupid? I would say so. Wouldn't that be something that men and women then could unite against? Why is it just a women's march? Because I think he has made purposeful comments against women. Like what? Like the video before he got elected. Where you said they could grab women by the, you know. Yes. But that was consensual though. Who said that was consensual? Was it not consensual? He said that when you're very wealthy, women will let you grab them by the pussy. Is that, is, okay. is that yeah. false? I'm not saying it's okay. I saw the one that caught my attention was build bridges, not walls. Could you explain why you're more pro-bridge than anti-wall, I guess? Oh, so pro-bridge is building bonds that tie the United States together. So uh, investing in our infrastructure rather than wasting money spending it on a barrier. Wouldn't the wall be a form of infrastructure? Would you like to maybe tell us a little bit why you're the yes, only person out here besides myself supporting Trump? But what do you think of all this then as a woman and you seem to not be necessarily siding with the women who are here for the women's march? Um, oh, this is a hard question. <laughs> I mean, I just don't think women in America are oppressed. We'll get you guys next if you want to. So I feel like it's almost under like one big umbrella of victimization and everyone's just out here complaining. I wouldn't call it complaining because it is victimization. I do think that Trump does purposefully, um, he does put down women, he puts down people of color, and that is not okay for a president to do. And I think, I don't think by mentioning minorities, it's just, it just like, for Black Lives Matter, I don't think it means that other lives don't matter, at, like, on, because you're saying Black Lives Matter. I think it's just, it's highlighting it's certain attention things. attention yeah. to the things that are wrong in our country today. But if Trump appoints women into cabinet positions, you know, more so than any other president in history, how is that putting down women? Or minorities, if we have like the lowest unemployment records in history for minorities. It's not? It's not true? That's not a flip statistic. And workforce participation too is at record highs. Do you want to see my shirt too? Yeah, I'd love to see your shirt. It's Justice Brett Kavanaugh. So when your sign says, we will not be quiet, believe survivors, when does the line, I guess, enact between not believing survivors and believing them? Or should they be inherently believed? So we have this thing in America called due process. It's innocent until proven guilty. And when you establish these social courts through which people are guilty until they're you know, removed from their... I sound like who? Do you have a weapon? Do you have an idea? Like, share it. Yeah. So they don't want to talk. They just want to hold their signs and post it on social media and you know pretend that they're fighting some sort of revolutionary war against this man, Donald Trump, who's done more to help women and minorities than any president in recent history. What do you see happening as far as the future of the Supreme Court? Because everyone thought that Brett Kavanaugh was going to be really partisan, but he really isn't. You may have seen that he just voted in favor of easier abortion, abortion access. So do you think that Trump is going to appoint a more conservative justice that might chip away more at Roe v. Wade and things like that? Yes, I do think that Trump is going to appoint a more conservative justice because he is a Republican and that is what he will do. Um, I do think that RBG hopefully will last longer than January. Yeah, um, you can't, like, is, that's so, like, that doesn't... She is a pinnacle of women's like, rights, and honestly, she is such an inspiration, so I really do... What's one of her favorite decisions? Of yours. Hmm. No, I'm not sure. 
I've noticed that because I've seen people with the shirts that have like you know the uh, notorious RBG stuff on them. I feel like she's almost an icon within your side of the aisle, but no one seems to know anything that she's ever written an, an opinion on or. To know a specific opinion, but I think it's important to know what she sta like what she stands for, and I think you don't need to like. Wouldn't knowing an opinion be knowing what she stands for? I don't think you need to. I don't. I don't necessarily think you need to. So you you don't like the wall, but you do like the idea of increased border security. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that would be fine. What would be something, I guess, that you would prescribe in order to have stricter border security then? Um, well, what's the border security for? Uh, to keep people that we don't want in the country out of the country. Who don't you want in the country? People that commit crimes. Okay, most of the people that are coming across the border are hoping to escape. Wouldn't that be an illegal crossing, though, making them criminals then? I don't believe we should criminalize it. Our ancestors didn't come through um, a, a walled area. They came through Ellis Island. They, yeah, but they, I mean, that was before we had a welfare state, though. They only stopped because of disease, and then they were allowed to come through. 62% of our ancestors weren't getting on welfare programs, though. There was no welfare state for them to subsist off of. I think we're done with this conversation. Anyone want to talk to us about no? Okay. Well. Appreciate it anyways for listening and stuff. Thank you. We have an ally. We have an ally. That's amazing. God damn you! Every single penny you have is about you put at risk because of greed. If all you are is greed, if you've lost your principles, you've lost your country. And god damn you all! You'll be penniless immigrants trying to talk your way into Russia because you're that stupidly greedy.